Happy Thanksgiving to you! I'm meteorologist Josh Stone, and we're going to see a very nice forecast as we get into the weekend. Uh, we can say goodbye to all that rain that came by yesterday. Get out of here! You know, some areas picked up over two inches of rainfall yesterday. It was an absolute soaker. Finally, though, that is well off the east coast of Florida, and as high pressure settles in, we're going to see that cool, dry air come in from the northwest, and that dry air aloft is going to help eat away the moisture, and we can say goodbye to those clouds. So sunshine is in our forecast for the next several days. Though it will be cool, especially in the morning hours, uh, make sure you do have a warm jacket with you because uh, we will see some temperatures actually fall to around the 40s. So it's going to be uh, pretty chilly to start our mornings for the next couple of mornings and then we'll start to warm up. Um, so once again, low pressure well off the uh, east coast now and taking that front with it, as you can see where the green colors are in the water vapor imagery, that's the moisture in the atmosphere, the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere, and that's being pulled away with that system. And the red colors show where the dry air is, and dry air is the dominant feature here in the southeast. So looking pretty good on our water vapor imagery. We do have an upper level low here in the upper Midwest bringing a mix of rain, sleet, and maybe even some light snow here through Chicago and Wisconsin over here towards Michigan and northern Indiana. That could cause delays today. And also that low pressure system with that front that brought us the rain yesterday is off the east coast. However, it is sliding up to the northeast, bringing that wraparound moisture here to places like Boston and New York. So there could be potential delays there as well. But the southeast looking very, very nice. Actually, not only the southeast, but the south in general looking extremely nice. Now, there's another feature to point out. Another storm coming into the Pacific Northwest, and that actually could be a weather maker for us as we get into next week and maybe cause some strong storms as that slides down to the south and then pushes in our direction. But that's next week, not for the weekend. We're looking very, very nice. Temperatures around the country look like this, 42 in St. Louis, 66 in Dallas, 58 in Atlanta, 50 in Boston. Out here in Phoenix, 80 degrees and 51 degrees in Portland, Oregon today. Keeping an eye on the tropics, you know what? November 30th is the end of the 2009 hurricane season. The good news here is the tropics here are all quiet, so there's nothing to talk about here at all. So let's move on. Our temperatures for highs today look like this, 72 in Sarasota, 75 in Northport, Port Charlotte, and Punta Gorda. So looking really nice, lower to mid-70s, and the skies, what we're calling for mostly sunny skies this afternoon. Okay, if you're going to take the boat out today, keep this in mind because we're going to see winds anywhere from 10 to 15 knots, making those seas 3 to 5 feet, so a little choppy offshore. And, of course, the bays will have a moderate chop, so it could just be a little choppy out there today. Uh, maybe take it easy, wait a couple of days till the winds start to die down, and there will be beautiful conditions to take the boat out. All right, our forecast once again, we top out at 72 degrees, partly cloudy to mostly sunny, and a little bit breezy out there, wind gusts up to maybe 20 miles per hour, especially as we get into the evening hours. But that will slowly die down. Now, tomorrow's high, look at that, 66 for Black Friday. So uh, if you're going out to do all the shopping, it's actually going to be a little cool but fairly comfortable. Then we'll be in the upper 60s by Saturday, mid-70s by Sunday, lots of sunshine through the entire weekend. And as we get into December 1st, 20% chance of showers on Tuesday. And then Wednesday is when that system up in the Pacific Northwest could ride down here and come our way and possibly cause some stronger storms. We have to watch it pretty closely, but that's still several days out. Enjoy the weekend, though, folks, and once again, happy Thanksgiving.